Hello, and thanks for joining us for this week's online exclusive. I'm Maeve Ashbrook. And I'm Cammie Brady. According to the Annual University Crime Report in 2017, there were two reported instances of stalking on campus. Elon University uses the blue light system which connects students to police with the tap of a button. But our Brian Ray looked at the system here at Elon and one student shining a light on the issue. The sun goes down, the lights come up. But for some Elon students, there's something missing when walking on campus in the dark. For freshman Johanna Bogue Marlowe, other schools she toured felt safer than Elon. Blue lights were very prominent across campus. A lot of them were, um, they would like talk about how you could see one no matter where you're standing on campus. And then being at Elon, I noticed that that wasn't really the case. Students who feel unsafe can use a blue light phone to call campus police. Bogue Marlowe has started a petition on change.org to get more blue lights on campus. She says she was inspired to start the petition after a night out with a friend. My phone didn't have any service and hers was very close to dying. It kind of creeped us out. We also saw like a creepy van drive by. Um, so we like looked around for a blue light and it took us like 10 minutes to find one. And I was like, that's not okay, like we're on campus, we should be able to feel safe if we don't have access to the phone. This is one of 33 blue lights on campus, but if you look past this parking lot I'm standing in, there's not another one in sight. Technical Services Coordinator Scott Jean says he recalls two emergency calls in his eight years at Elon. With the Live Safe app, students can call the police on their phones. With this, he believes there's not a need for blue lights. People aren't gonna smartphones, they're not going to, if they're way on one side of the parking lot and the blue lights on the others, they're not going to say run or walk over to a blue light. Elon currently has 33 blue lights primarily located in parking lots. Wake Forest University sits on 340 acres of land and has over 50 blue lights. But Elon sits on 656 acres of land, about double the size of Wake Forest. As of now, Gene says he doesn't know of any plans to install more. Brian Ray, ELN Morning. Bogue Marlowe has 75 out of 100 signatures on her petition. Once she reaches 100, she plans to send a letter to campus police and vice president for student life, John Dooley, arguing to install more blue lights. Elon's annual festival of holiday lights, Luminaries, will take place next Tuesday, December 4th. The celebration will start at 6.30 p.m. by the Alamance Building. If you have a class or live on the second floor of a building, you might not think twice about walking up the stairs, but that is not the case for all students. Our Carly Thomas has the story. Pass that Elon can go unnoticed when it doesn't affect your daily life. But for students like sophomore Ms. Bichitani, it's something she has to think about. She decided to live at home in Burlington while attending Elon because she knows that her house is accessible, but not all buildings at Elon are. Some of the buildings, like academic buildings, they have like the buttons to open the door, but sometimes the buttons don't work. Um, so just the little things that are just harder to open and close. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, about 11% of undergraduate students in the United States have a disability. At Elon Chitani Field, since only a few students have a physical disability, they are not considered as much. I feel like there's not much of a conversation going on. Um, it's more of like a, can I, can I have this accommodation? And them saying, no, like we don't have resources resources and then it's the kind of like the end of the conversation. While getting to class is one thing she feels like the accessibility at Elon even affects her social life. I'm not able to like um, visit them or like go sit in their apartment late at night. Um, so like those kinds of things, those like hangouts, we have to come up with a new way of a hangout. Chitani hopes that the university plans to take steps to improve the accommodations for students with physical disabilities, especially in their 10 year plan for the school. If they can't help me because of liability issues, like giving me resources that I can reach out to for people who can help me, um, instead of just saying like a flat out no. Carly Thomas, ELN Morning. Elon News Network contacted the Assistant Director of the Office of Disability Services to ask about their plans for increasing accommodations on campus, but she didn't respond. That's all the news we have for you today. Thanks for watching. Keep up to date with all the news you need to know on our website, elonnewsnetwork.com. And make sure to follow us on social media at Elon News Network. Have a great week, Elon.